In this video, we're going to make an application which tells dad jokes using Python. Now, if we're going to make an application which tells dad jokes, we need a source of those dad jokes. This website here, iconhasdadjoke.com, has what's called an API. APIs allow us to access information and services over the web. And what this API does is gives us back a random dad joke. Now, the way this API works is that we send an HTTP request to this URL here, and it has to be a get verb HTTP request, along with this request header here, accept, set to application JSON. And then what we'll get back is a response that looks like this, with a joke contained in what's called JSON data, JavaScript object notation data. And we'll have this key joke, and at that key, we'll have the joke. So let's implement this using Python. Now to send requests in Python, we can import the request module. You may have to install this. So you may have to go to the terminal and say pip3 install requests. I've already done that, so it's already there. But you may have to do that. Then, once we've imported requests, we can make a request using request.get. So get will make a get verb HTTP request. Then we can put the URL as the first argument. So we'll put here HTTPS colon slash slash iconhasdadjoke.com. Then to send the headers, we can use a name parameter called headers. So we'll have here headers is equal to, and we can define the headers using a Python dictionary. So we'll have here request headers is equal to, we'll have a Python dictionary with the header accept set to the value application slash JSON. Then we'll pass this into the function. So this will send a request to this URL here with these headers. And what we'll get back is a HTTP response. And what we wanna do is extract the body of that response, which contains the joke. So we're gonna store that response that we get back into a variable called response. So response is going to be an object representing the response we get back. Now, if we call that object's JSON function, this function is going to give us back a Python dictionary made up of the JSON data. So it takes the JSON data in the response and it converts it to a Python format, a Python dictionary in this case, where we're gonna have keys and values that we can access using Python code. So here, if I open the response using print, and then save the program and try it out. What we'll get back here is a joke. So we have here the joke with what do you, what do you do when you see a spaceman? And the answer is park your car, man. Funny. So uh, this here is a Python dictionary of keys and values. It looks just like the JSON data because it's very similar. What we want to access is this joke key here, and we can do that using the syntax. So here, if I have joke like this inside these square brackets, that's going to access the value at that key. Let's try it again. We'll save it and run it this time. And now we get just the joke value. And this time it's, it's only a murder of crows if there's probable cause. Funny. Okay, so let's do some more work here. Let's make it so the program will continually ask the user if they want another dad joke. So we'll put this here inside a while loop. We'll have here while true, and we'll repeatedly make a request to this API and get back the joke. But then we're gonna prompt the user to see if they want another joke. So we'll have here user input is equal to, we'll call input, we'll pass it the string, backslash n for new line, another joke question mark, and then yes or no, and then a colon to prompt the user to enter a value. So when the input function is called, the user is going to be prompted with this text on the terminal. Then the user is expected to enter in yes or no using y or n in lowercase. This function is going to return whatever they enter. Just in case the user enters in uppercase y or uppercase n, let's take that string and convert all the letters in that string to lowercase using lower. So lower is going to return a new string that's identical to whatever the user entered, except for any letters in that string will be made into lowercase letters. 
Then we'll check to see if they entered no. So if user input is equal to lowercase n, then the user wants to stop. In that case, we'll put the message later alligator, which is a very dad thing to say. Then we'll use break here. And what break will do is stop this loop. So because we have this condition here true, the loop is going to run indefinitely. But when we use break, the loop is going to stop. Now, what we should also do is make sure we got back a valid response. So we can check the response's status code to make sure the response was okay. If the response was okay, we should get back 200. So we'll have here, if the response status code doesn't equal 200, then there's been some sort of problem with the request. In that case, we'll output an exit message and we'll stop the program. So we'll have here print, and we'll say backslash n for new line. Sorry, I ran out of jokes, dad brain. And then again, we'll use break to stop the loop. Now, when we output the joke, let's output a new line in front of it just to give it more space. So here we'll use an F string and we'll have a backslash n for a new line. Then in curly braces to output the joke as part of the F string, we'll have this here and we'll finish the curly brace there. So what we've done here is we're outputting a new string that this F string is producing. And that new string is going to have a new line to give the joke some space. Then we have this placeholder here for a value inside the curly braces. And what we're gonna output here is the joke itself. I modified these quote symbols here to use single quotes instead of double quotes so that I could use double quotes for this F string here. So let's try it out now. We'll save it and run the program. So who did the wizard marry? His ghoul friend, haha. <laughs> we'll say another joke, yes. Doctor, you've got to help me. I'm addicted to Twitter. Doctor, I don't follow you, haha. <laughs> okay, so we'll say no. We get later alligator, and that's it. Now, one more thing I could do is maybe put a new line in front of later alligator with backslash n here, but that's a very minor change. We'll just say no now, and now we get that nice space after the another joke prompt. So this is how we can create an application which tells dad jokes using Python. Check out PortfolioCourses.com, where we'll help you build a portfolio that will impress employers.